One, two, two, one, two, three. All right. All right, Josh, you ready? All right. Good evening, basketball fans, and welcome to Assumption High School for tonight's Merrowood South not, or Merrowood South Boys basketball game, featuring the visiting Newman Catholic Cardinals, four and eighteen overall. They're two and twelve in the Merrowood Conference. Head coached by Jeff Waldvogel, going up against the home Assumption Royals, ten and twelve on the season, six and eight in the Merrowood. Head coached by Josh Paltz. It is senior night. They're doing uh, boys basketball, girls hockey. Girls, or excuse me, boys basketball, boys hockey, girls hockey, and there was one other, maybe uh, wrestling as well. But uh, before we get things started, a reminder that today, or the pregame show is brought to you by Nakusa Port Edwards State Bank. At Nakusa Port Edwards State Bank, you can expect an experience filled with individualized personal care unique to you and your business. There are more than 100 years of serving the Wisconsin Rapids area makes them your neighbors, your friends, and your family. Naku Support Edwards State Bank, strong enough to protect you, large enough to serve you, and small enough to know you. Coming into this game, Assumption 10 and 12 on the year. As mentioned, Newman Catholic at four and 18 after a state championship last year. But as we know in high school sports, graduation is, uh, is a dagger for some. And, Coach Waldvogel said his boys have been playing better this uh, the last couple of weeks, and uh, and you would expect a little uh, hiccup with some a team like Newman Catholic, especially with how young they are. Not very many of them, if any of them, got playing time on the varsity court last year with the talent and the crazy uh, team that they had a year ago. So um, still learning, still young, and still trying to maneuver through. Um, the season this, or at the, the, as we conclude the regular season this week. So, uh, Assumption coming off of a 76-27 uh, to 27 loss to Marathon on Friday last week. Newman Catholic coming off of a 56-39 to 39 loss to Stratford. So, should be a, should be a good competitive game. A lot of emotion tonight. Two seniors for the Assumption Royals. A couple five of them for Newman Catholic. So see how all things uh, go about here tonight. We're going to take a quick break here from our friends over at Nakusa Port Edwards State Bank. Come back. Get you ready for this one. You're watching High School Boys Basketball Zaleski Sports. What sets Nakusa Port Edwards State Bank apart from other Wisconsin banks far beyond rates and financial services? You can expect an experience filled with individualized personal care unique to you and your business. Nakusa Port Edwards State Bank has over 100 years of serving the Wisconsin Rapids area, local, small, and mid-sized businesses, while proudly supporting so many community projects over the years. They're your neighbors, your friends, and you'll find them actively serving communities where we work, live, and play. Nakusa Port Edwards State Bank, strong enough to protect you, large enough to serve you, and small enough to know you. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Welcome back once again to Assumption High School Senior Night as we start the final week of regular season boys basketball. The playoffs have been set, and uh, we'll get into all those matchups here in just a little bit. But again, reminder that today's pregame show is brought to you by Nakusa Port Edwards State Bank out Naku Support Edwards State Bank, you, know, you can expect an experience filled with individualized personal care unique to you and your business. They're more than 100 years of, er, of serving the Wisconsin Rapids area. Makes them your neighbors, your friends, and your family. Naku Support Edwards State Bank, strong enough to protect you, large enough to serve you, and small enough to know you. Good crowd continues to file in here at Assumption High School. And these two teams will be back in action on uh, Thursday. Assumption will host Stratford, and uh, Newman Catholic will host Edgar. We'll turn it over to Phil Harley for our for our pregame announcements, our invocation, and our national anthem, and then he will also have the senior night presentation. Thank you for the 
opportunity to compete and bring out our best in each other. Please keep everyone safe from injury, harm, and disrespect. For our athletes, coaches, fans, and officials, give each of us the charity, humility, and courage to play, coach, cheer, and referee in a manner which is pleasing you, giving our absolute best for your glory and your honor. St. Michael the Archangel, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Please remain standing. Gentlemen, take off your hats. Would you hand over your hearts? Join in the singing of our national anthem, sung tonight by Sumter Freshman Gianna Kedich. a special night here for senior nights. Good to see them recognize boys basketball, girls and boys hockey, and wrestling. First for the Newman Catholic Cardinals, a sophomore number one is Quincy Fender. Sophomore number three is Lucas Piffner. Senior number four is Aiden Spicala. 
A senior number 10 is Evan Zupke, and a sophomore number 22 is Griffin Pence. And they are, of, of course, head coached by Jeff Waldvogel. Appreciate Jeff. Able to give us a couple of minutes before the game here. And the starters for Assumption. Sophomore number one is Logan Eistrom. Sophomore number three is Chase Lieberg. Senior number 10 is Jack Wiedemeyer. And sophomore number 11 is JT Schlafer. And senior number 22 is Manny Schultz. Good to see JT back out there. Battling a sickness last week and only took only took one shot in their loss to Marathon on Friday night. Again, they struggled big time, of course, against the <laughs> Marathon Red Raiders, who a lot of people have only one loss for the Red Raiders this year. Steve Maves, Josh Bush along with you here tonight from Assumption High School. Glad you're joining us here from central Wisconsin. Assumption home whites. New Catholic Road Reds is a 17-point assumption win back in January, about a month ago, January 16th. What day is it now? As the Royals will start with it, Chase Lieberg in the lane, back out to Manny Schultz, drives into the lane line. JT Schlafer got blocked and it's going to be taken away by the uh, Cardinals. Again, Newman Catholic coming in at just 4 and 18 on the season. But a team that Coach Waldvogel has been impress impressed with this year. Nice runner there to the basket goes Evan Zubke, the senior. And Newman is on the board, on the board first here tonight. Piffner had 15. Spikala had nine in their game back in January, a 52-35 win for Assumption. And it's going to be a foul on the drive. I believe that foul is going to go on Lucas Piffner. A lot of fun to follow the journey of Newman Catholic a year ago, their first ever Boys State Basketball Championship. Schlafer still looking in, down to Lieberg, blocked by Zubke, but then he's going to get called for the foul. Chase Lieberg will head to the serve pro, Jamie Wenzel, free throw line, called Jamie Wenzel at serve pro for the number one choice in cleanup and restoration. Serve pro, like it never even happened. Other games on the network tonight, we got, a, of course, only boys games tonight. Girls playoffs start tomorrow. We'll have three, we'll have three live girls playoff games for you tomorrow. But tonight, Shiocton is at Pacelli. Amro is at Wapaka. Stratford is at Auburndale. Marathon is at Edgar. And Brillian is at Moe's Knee as Lieber goes one for two from the line. Another rebound taken by Quincy Fender for Newman Catholic. We'll give you a score updates from around the Zaleski Sports Network. Again, the three games tomorrow are four. We got three girls. Um, three girls playoff games. And then... Sectional semifinal in hockey from the KB Willett Ice Arena in Stevens Point. Schlafer all the way to the basket, bodied, missed. Rebound taken by Aiden Spikala. Quick lean to the front court for Fender. Right side for Pent. Spikala over to Fender, top of the key. Zupke over to Piffner. Long three for Piffner is left short right into the Waiting hands of Chase Lieberg. Manny Schultz quickly into the front court, throws it away, and he stepped out of bounds. And back to Newman Catholic it goes. Brian Roosh is your Central Wisconsin Properties Land Specialist. Turn to Brian for all your hunting property questions and needs. That's Brian Roosh with Whitetail Properties. Piffner into the front court. Defender right at midcourt. This is going to be a good battle the next couple of years. A lot of young talent on both sides. No Ron Board tonight for Assumption. Ankle injury. Right side for Pent, and he traveled with it. Tried the little jab step on Nystrom and missed it off, or missed it. Misstepped, I should say. Two 
2-1 Newman. It's about two and a half minutes into this one. And Schultz on the right side. They are double teaming JT Schlafer. Cam Martin getting ready to check in. Weedmeyer on the right wing. Back over to Manny Schultz. Schultz to Lieberg. They're trying to ISO JT. Can't get it to go. Chase Lieberg steps into there and puts it in. Assumption's got their first lead, 3-2. Again, if they're going to take away your best scoring option for Assumption, others have to step up. Chase has got all three so far. I think for Chase, just got to stay out of foul trouble, stay on the court. Piffner with it. Top of the key, and that was going to be turned over. Back to uh, Assumption it goes. Wisconsin Server Orthopedics encourages you to stop living with the pain. Come see them, and let's get you back to living your life to the fullest. For joint pain, rehabilitation, urgent care, and more, come to Wisconsin Server Orthopedics in Wisconsin Rapids. Assumption's last home game came against Kohler about a week and a half ago. That was a Saturday Kohler Blue Bombers receiving a number one seed. Only one loss on the year. That came to Sheboygan Area Lutheran last week. Turning and uh, fouled Camden Martin. will head to the, or excuse me, Parker Vrunwink. My apologies. Head to the Serve Pro Jamie Wenzel free throw line. Call Jamie Wenzel at Serve Pro for the number one choice in cleanup and restoration. Serve Pro, like it never even happened. Parker Vrunwin getting some time with Ron Board injured. Evan, Zup uh, Evan Zupke had a nice runner to start the game for Newman Catholic. They just haven't had any other good looks so far here tonight. Three team fouls for Newman, none for assumption here, with 14-15 to go here in the first half. 4-2. Royals. Left wing and tipped by Nystrom. Logan hasn't taken a shot yet, all the way to the basket. The runner is good, just like Zubke's. Piffner on the right side puts it in. We're tied at four. High off the glass. Weedmeyer in the lane, all the way to the basket. He throws it up there. Circus shot taken by Fender. He circles around in the backcourt. Piffner on the right side, Spikala. Fender on the right elbow. Going to be tipped and taken back by Fender. He hits the floor. Jack Weedmeyer is going to be bodied and blocked. And Weedmeyer is going to go to the free throw line. Head to the Surf Pro, Jamie Wenzel. Free throw line called Jamie Wenzel at Surf Pro for the number one choice in cleanup and restoration. Serve pro like it never even happened. Coach Waldvogel trying to plead his case on that foul. To no prevail. Early score update from Auburndale. Eagles up 13-4 on Stratford. Mose Knee leads Brilliant 13-2 after a tough loss. Chase Lieberg another rebound. Gonna be a jump ball to Newman Catholic as Lieberg or as Spikala got an elbow to the elbow to the chops from Lieberg. Tough loss last week for Mosney to Rhinelander. Just couldn't hit free throws down the stretch. Pence swings it on the left side for uh, Pence back Spikala. Fender, top of the key. Back over to Zubke. Left side for Piffner. Pick and roll. Piffner in the lane. Spins in the lane. The lane line jumper is off the mark. Rebound taken by Weedmeyer. Jack quickly into the front court. Coach Paltz says keep running. Schlafer, one quick step. Foul is going to go on Spikala. And JT thought the foul was on him. Marathon eight, Edgar four. As the Garantula just hits a three-pointer. 
Spikala picked up his second, stays in the game. Nystrom. Just give me a, an illegal screen. I believe probably on Parker Vrunwink. No, that's going to go on four. There's no four for assumption. I think it's supposed to go on Vrunwink, 23, yep. Oh, and Hagen will check in for JT. Appreciate everyone tuning in tonight. Kent, the easy answer is no. They had some of the best athletes to ever play basketball, not just at Newman, but some of the best basketball players to ever play in the city of Wausau on their team last year. Just crazy, crazy good athletes. Spike Collip, pull up jumper on the baseline is good. Weedmeyer with it now. It's going to be an offensive foul again, I believe, on Vrunwink or Weedmeyer. Who's it going to go on here? It's going to go on Parker Vrunwink. Back to back illegal screens, and the freshman will take a quick seat. Dad, one of the best teams ever come through Central Wisconsin last year. There's no doubt about that. And a lot of fun to follow them to their state tournament, state championship. Turns around, is up and good for two. Lucas Piffner, he's got four tonight. Just like that, Newman Catholic with a three-point lead, 8-5 Cardinals. Right side for Owen Hagen. Liam McCarty checked into the game. Foul is going to be on the drive. It's going to be the sixth team foul on Newman Catholic. We saw Newman Catholic before the Christmas break, or uh, during the Christmas break at Amherst. McCarty had a couple of big time dunks in Amherst during that game. Pretty impressive. Weedmeyer against McCarty now with 11.35 to go here in the first. Another substitution getting ready to check in. That's Lucas Erdman. Schlafer against Spike Collier, who's got two fouls, turns and finishes to JT. Confidence boosting shot there for the sophomore. As Manny Schultz gets ready to check in. Pent into the front court for Newman Catholic. Piffner. McCarty swings it to the left side for Griffin Pent. McCarty on the baseline throws it to Coach Pultz. Nice hands there by Josh. Eleven minutes exactly to go here on the first half clock from Assumption High School. Again, if all things pan out, we will be at Assumption for the rest of the week. Tomorrow, Assumption and uh, Port Edwards girls as Jack Weedmeyer buries the three. Big three-pointer for the senior. And just like that, the Royals on a 5-0 run of their own. Up by two. Boys back in action here against Stratford on Thursday. It's going to be a foul on Manny Schultz on the drive. Team foul number three on Assumption with 10.31 to go. So boys tonight, girls tomorrow, boys Thursday, girls Friday if they win tomorrow. Playoffs again start tomorrow for girls state basketball. They take on Port Edwards. Griffin Pent on the left side. Rolls would take on the winner of Central Wisconsin Christian or Fall River on Friday night. Pent, McCarty, Fender with it on the right wing. Spins in the lane, hands off to McCarty in the corner. Pent was open underneath the basket. Oh, wow, what a pass. Couldn't finish. Lucas Erdman heading to the free throw line. A laser. And 
And Coach Waldvogel will take a timeout, 30-second timeout. We'll be, right at, we'll be right back after this on Zaleski Sports. Business owners share so many challenges, but there's one challenge that has an easy solution. Branding your business with creative graphics and a plethora of effective print marketing options is as easy as quality plus printing. With over 30 years of marketing expertise and a track record of happy customers, you can trust in quality plus printing to develop the perfect brand for you. As a business owner, you have enough to focus on. Give yourself a break and trust in Quality Plus Printing on 8th Street, Wisconsin Rapids. Or find us at qpprinting.com. That's qpprinting.com. Erdman at the free throw line. The lefty's free throw is good. One for two. Wiedemeyer with the free or with the with the rebound. Nine forty-five to go here in the first. Nice from on the right side against Pent. Next foul puts Assumption into the bonus. Schultz on the left side. Back over to. Uh, there's three for Manny Schultz. Just a bit strong. Rebounded by Erdman. For Newman Catholic. Nine twenty to go here in the first. Ten nine Assumption. J.J. Oswald getting ready to check in. McCarty rises above. Liam McCarty puts it in for two. Newman Catholic back on top. Schlafer down low to Weedmeyer, kicks it out. J.T. open for a second. Gets past Erdman all the way to the basket, up and in. Could have been an and one for J.T. Got pushed on the, on the take. And McCarty turns it over to Nystrom, the runner in the lane for Logan. No good. Rebound taken. Just a bad decision by Liam McCarty. And you can see Coach Waldvogel, as soon as he let that pass go, put his hands in or put his head into his hand. Pull up jumper there is up. No good. Tipped around. Rebound taken by Owen Hagen. All the way to the basket. Owen blocked by McCarty. Yeah, I don't I don't think uh I don't think a goaltending would be sufficient on that as Owen Hagen will head to the Surf Pro Jamie Wenzel free throw line. Call Jamie Wenzel at Surf Pro for the number one choice in cleanup and restoration. Surf Pro, like it never even happened. Hagen's first free throw was good. Thirteen, eleven now. Assumption on top. Off the mark, tipped up. Rebound taken by Quincy Fender. Coach Waldvogel has given the official some, uh, given the official uh, run for his money, and then he just teed him up. So Jeff Waldvogel. Technical foul here with 8.18 to go in the first. And Logan Nystrom will shoot the technical free throws here. So just trying to get... Uh, from what we know, just trying to get answers about the foul, non-foul calls. I'm assuming is what Coach Waldvogel is trying to figure out. And 
said enough here in the first. Chase Lieberg will check in for Owen Hagen. 15-11 in favor of Assumption. And it was in the year of the official after that foul against uh, that put Owen Hagen at the free throw line. And then uh, it's going to be a backcourt violation on Assumption here with 8.07 to go. Not a clean game by any means here, but uh, Cardinals basketball down by four with 8.07 to go. All the way to the basket, it is up, it's good, and one. The take by Piffner. Got the body against Schlafer. Able to control his body and put it in. The and one for Lucas Piffner. Coach Waldvogel said he's got some shooters. It's just a matter of making them scores some nights. Schlafer all the way to the basket, left hand, coast to coast for JT. He's got six tonight. Piffner into the front court, three-point assumption, lead 7.45 to go here in the first. Fender on the left side. McCarty rises above, can't finish, rebounded by Erdman. McCarty's already at the end of the other end of the court. And Fender will reset things over to Piffner on the left side. McCarty is telling Erdman to get out of there. Fender with it. Jabs against Weedmeyer. Pull up 15 footer is good. Quincy Fender's first basket. And uh, and now they're having a conversation here with the official as a team with 7.13 to go here in the first. Reminder that today's broadcast is brought to you in part by Sparhawk Trucking. They become one of the area's leading trucking companies reliably hauling for over 44 years. Come work for the best and learn more at sparhawktrucking.com. And now they're trying to get Spicala to check back or to check in as it was an official timeout. So they can bring the substitution in. One point game. It has been a chaotic first half here, to say the least. Still, still seven and a half minutes to go in the first. A first half of runs. Weedmeyer is going to get fouled on the drive. That was going to go on. Uh, that might be on Piffner. That would be his third. And Jack Wiedenmeyer will head to the free throw line for one and one here with 707 to go. They do need a substitution. And Piffner will head to the bench with three first half fouls. Econ Electric, whether you need residential, commercial, or industrial electrical work, you can rely on Econ Electric where every job is done safe, done right, on time, every time. It's Econ Electric. And one for two from the line for Weedmeyer. I think, he, I think he thought he made it. Fender. Over to Pent. Spikala on the left side. Down low to McCarty. McCarty in the lane. Back out. Three-pointer for Fender. Long three is off the mark. Rebounded by Schlafer. Quick lean to the front court. Oswald back out. Schlafer skips over to Weedmeyer. Three-pointer is short. Rebounded by Fender. And resets things for Newman Catholic with six and a half to go. 18-16 assumption. Fender goes to the baseline, goes to the corner, back out to Zupke. Hands it off to Fender at the midcourt. 
Pent with it against Nystrom. McCarty at the, free th or at the volleyball line. Back over to Fender against Weedmeyer. Spakala. Zupke on the left wing against J.J. Oswald. McCarty hands it off to Pent. Pent, long three, left-handed three is off the mark. Rebound taken by Weedmeyer, then a foul in the backcourt as Jack will head to the free throw line for two free throws now. Foul will go on Quincy Fender. First one for Weedmeyer is off the mark. Key Savings Bank halftime report coming up in just a little bit. Give you a halftime scores from around the Zaleski Sports Network as well as our schedule for tomorrow. And three girls live games, one hockey game. Weedmeyer 0 for 2 from the line. Still just a two point game with 5.50 to go. Pent against Nystrom. Nobody moving for Newman Catholic. No movement for the Cardinals here. Left side for Spicala. Top of the key for Zupke. Back over to Pent on the right wing. Drives baseline all the way to the basket. Off the mark. Rebounded by Lieberg. Had a chance to tie it. Did Griffin Pent. Schlafer on the left wing into the front court. Spicala just picked up his fourth foul. And JT Schlafer heading to the free throw line for the first time tonight. A Spicala. Picked up his third. My apologies. Slaver's first one is good. Surf Pro Jamie Wenzel free throw line. Call Jamie Wenzel as Surf Pro for the number one choice in cleanup and restoration. Surf Pro, like it never even happened. Schlafer one for two from the line, and rebound taken by Nystrom, throws it up, they're off the mark, rebounded by Erdman. Spicala almost picked up his fourth foul. And uh, it's gonna be a timeout taken by Newman Catholic. It's gonna be a full timeout, we'll do the same. We'll be back after this on Zaleski Sports. Wondering what to feed your team after work, the game, or this weekend? Chips Hamburgers in Marshfield and Wisconsin Rapids has tasty char-broiled burgers for any hungry appetite. From the classic hamburger to the famous Chips Champ and everything in between, check out our daily specials. Stop inside to enjoy your meal with comfortable seating. See our complete menu of burgers, hot ham and cheese, hot beef, chicken and fish, fries, rings, curds and ice cream served year-round. In a hurry? Same great menu in the drive-thru. Chips Hamburgers in Marshfield and Wisconsin Rapids. Wisconsin River Orthopedics has been providing comprehensive care to Wood County for over 50 years. We offer urgent care for orthopedic pain and injuries, joint replacement, along with focused sports medicine care from evaluation to rehabilitation. Our facilities offer a spacious rehab center to get you back to doing what you love most, along with the latest technology in our ambulatory surgery center and a comfortable open MRI. Stop living with pain and limited range in your joints. Turn to Wisconsin River Orthopedics and get back to the way life is meant to be. Five minutes to go here in the first. Runner by Fender is off the mark. Rebounded by Schlafer. Quickly into the front court. Down low to Lieberg. Back out to Schlafer. Down low to Lieberg on the, on the block. Turns and finishes. Chase has got two more. Five tonight for the sophomore. Pent. Front court, hands off to Fender at the free throw line. Back out to Erdman. Hands off to Quincy Fender. Gets a screen from Erdman at the top of the key. Swings it around near side for Zupke on the left, or on, yeah, left wing. Pent dribbles to the right side against Nystrom. Hands it back out to Fender. 
Step into a three. Quincy Fender buries the triple. Back to a uh, two-point game. Download blocked by Fender. It's going to be a uh, jump ball. Coach Waldvogel thought that Fender got a, he got a foul call on him. <laughs> I think he would have just walked right out of the gym if that would have happened. <laughs> Uh, inbounds it to uh, Lieberg. Left hand that time for Chase. Off the mark. Rebound taken by Quincy Fender. Pull-up jumper for Fender is off the mark. Rebound taken by uh, JT. Weedmeyer quickly into the front court. Stops against Zupke. Schlafer. Resets things for the Royals. J.J. Oswald getting ready to check in. Schlafer on the left lane line. Nystrom back out to Lieberg. Long three for Hagen is back rim. Nobody went for it, and <laughs> Newman came away with the rebound. And appreciate everyone tuning in tonight on Seleski Sports. Big time matchup here in the Merrowood to uh, start the final week of the season. Just off the mark for McCarty. Weedmeyer quickly into the front court. Left hand is up and no good. Rebound taken by Zubke and throws it into the backcourt. Right hand for Schlafer. He's going to get fouled. And JT will head to the free throw line. Foul is going to go on Liam McCarty with 2.50 to go here in the first. Heading back to the Surf Pro, Jamie Wenzel, free throw line. Call Jamie Wenzel at Surf Pro for the number one choice in cleanup and restoration. Surf Pro, like it never even happened. This one for JT is smooth. Oswald checks in for Owen Hagen. With 2.50 to go here in the first. 22-19 assumption. Schlafer two for two from the line. Three for four from the line here in the first. Double screen for the Royals. Erdman in the corner. Or excuse me, for the Cardinals. Zubke intercepted by Weedmeyer. That was going to be called on uh, Griffin Pent. And Jack Weedmeyer is going to head to the free throw line for two. Reminder today's broadcast is brought to you in part by Mariani Packaging Company, located on the east side of Wisconsin Rapids, and just 15 minutes from Plover is hiring. Full-time day and night shift food manufacturing positions are available at the largest independent dried fruit processor and packer in the U.S. Visit Mariani.com to view open positions. That's M-A-R-I-A-N-I.com. Lucas Piffner checks back into the game. He's got three fouls. Weedmeyer off again. Right side for Piffner. Pent back out to Piffner. McCarty back out to Pent. Gets a screen, does Griffin. Doesn't use it. Piffner at the top of the key against Lieberg. Drives. Pull-up jumper is good. Lucas Piffner, a sophomore, puts it in. J.J. Oswald back over to Weedmeyer. Swings around to Schlafer. Pull-up three in the corner is off the mark. Rebound taken by Piffner. For Newman Catholic, 24-21. Piffner quickly into the front court. Pent releases a long three, is in and out and in. We're tied. Griffin Pent ties it at 24 with 90 seconds to go. Schlafer gets past, kicks it out. Weedmeyer, Lieberg in the Way that time, all the way to the basket as Weedmeyer puts it in. Piffner took a shot to the noggin.
Left side for Pent. McCarty at the top of the key over to Piffner on the right side. He releases a long three. Is off the mark. Rebounded by Weedmeyer. And another, another dead ball whistle here with 59 and a half seconds to go. And uh, now we have a, uh, a fan interaction. And it's going to be... Uh, I think multiple people heading to, heading to the exits early here with 59.8 seconds remaining. And it's been a chippy game here tonight and uh, all the culmination of it technical for Jeff Waldvogel, a couple of Spectators heading out. 59 and a half seconds remaining in this one. Jack Weedmeyer with it. Two point assumption lead. Lieberg back over to Oswald on the right side against McCarty. Lieberg on the left wing. Weedmeyer up and can't finish. Rebound taken by McCarty. Fender with it now with 30 seconds to go. Piffner on the right side. Hands it off to Pent. Back out to Fender. Nearly lost it. Hands it back off to Piffner. Fender asking for a screen from McCarty. Gets it. The runner is up and off the mark. Rebound taken by Nystrom. And Coach Pulse will take a timeout with four seconds remaining. 26-24. It's going to be a 30-second timeout. We'll take a quick one here. We'll be back after this. Selesky Sports. Little Sprouts Learning Garden with two convenient central Wisconsin locations. Here's Brooke Seavers to tell us about it. Little Sprouts has been around for almost seven years here in Auburndale. In Rudolph, we've been open for about two and a half. We serve here in Auburndale. We have six weeks old up until 12 year olds. And then in Rudolph, we have one year olds up until 12 year olds. The biggest thing that we do with them is we have play-based learning so that they um, learn through play with each other. And social skills are a huge part of what we do with them. Find Little Sprouts Learning Garden on Facebook today. Mentioned it at about the 7-0 or 7-13 mark here in the first about how chaotic it's been here in the first and it has not slowed down. I'll talk about all that in our Key Savings Bank halftime report. Logan Eichstrom to inbound. Weedmeyer will take a long three-pointer, good if it goes, and that will end our first half here in Wisconsin Rapids. Wow, a lot happened. We'll try and recap it here when we come back in our Key Savings Bank Halftime Report 26-24 Assumption. We'll be back after this, Seleski Sports. Why work for Staub Construction? Everybody around you is just family. Everybody seems to bond together and get along good, and they, I believe, truly care about their employees. Staub has a, a great benefits package. Staub is an employee-owned company that uh, puts a, a large emphasis on work-life balance. And everybody wants to see everybody succeed. It's a good place to work. Join the team at Staub Construction. Apply now at staubco.com. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love home furniture. Hi, this is Jill from Home Furniture and Design. Since 1970 and four generations, our family has been proudly offering quality furniture like Lazy Boy, Serta, and the Amish to central Wisconsin. We also offer free in-home design with our professionally trained designers to help you create a space that is uniquely yours, whether it's just a sofa or the entire home. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love home furniture. West Grand Avenue, Wisconsin Rapids, and Post Road in Plover. Welcome, how may we help you? New windows, new garage, new car, swimming pool, tuition, we're not talking scholarship here, and a vacation. Our affordable home equity line of credit may be just what you need. Medical expenses, braces for our youngest, 
How about the dog? Roof. How about the roof? And did I mention how long I wanted that vacation to be? Your money. Your life. How may we help you? Bauer and Fine has been based in Marshfield since 1955. And if you're in business that long, you're obviously doing many things right. We always focus on selling world-class products, backing it up with world-class customer support. Working with Bauer and Fine Business Technologies has been a pleasure. We have staff on call that we can call if we ever have issues, and the printer usability has been really easy, user-friendly. Give us a call, visit our website, we'd be happy to come in, talk to you. Maybe there's a way we can help you save some money and work more efficiently. Welcome back to Assumption High School. Time now for your Key Savings Bank halftime reports. Unlock the best home, auto, commercial, and personal loans in the Rapids area. Key Savings Bank. No matter what you're financing, Key Savings Bank has the personal touch to do it ease. Dream big, small rates, Key Savings Bank. First half scoring. Start with the Newman Catholic Cardinals. Quincy Fender's got five. Lucas Pipner's got nine. Aiden Spachella's got two. Uh, Evan Zupke's got two. Lucas Erdman's got one. Griffin Pence got three. And Liam McCarty's got two. For Assumption, Logan Eichstrom's got two, Owen Haggins got one, Chase Lieberg's got five, Jack Weedmeyer's seven, J.T. Schlafer with nine, and Parker Vrunwink has got one. 26-24 here in the first half. Again, it has been chaotic. A ton of fouls in that first half. A ton of fouls in that first half. There was a technical foul. There was an ejection of a, of a fan. It has been... Uh, it has been a uh, crazy first 18 minutes of the ball game here today. Coming up for the coming up for the uh, Assumption Royals, they will take on Stratford on Thursday, and then next week they earn the number six seed. And they will take on Elmwood Plum City here at Assumption High School, and then for Newman Catholic, they end the regular season against Edgar next or on Thursday, and then they will head to Whitehall in a 6-11 matchup of their own. So that's the playoffs for these two teams. El Elmwood Plum City got an 11. <laughs> Elmwood Plum City got an uh, excuse me, Newman Catholic got an 11. Assumption got a 6 in different sectionals here this year. Coming up on Zaleski Sports tomorrow, we got three girls games. Port Edwards is here at Assumption. Northland Lutheran is at Columbus Catholic. Ladysmith is at Marathon. And then a huge hockey game. We are into sectionals for hockey. Hudson is at Stevens Point in boys hockey at the KB Willett Ice Arena. All four of those games start at 7 o'clock. We're going to take another quick break here and give you the the, the seedings that came out, and then score updates from around the Zaleski Sports Network here at the break. Again, Assumption and Newman Catholic in two different sectionals this year. We'll go through, or we'll go one through 16 in Assumptions and one through 15 in Newman Catholic sectional when we come back here from Assumption High School. Chili Implement, located just west of Marshfield in Chile, is your Kubota dealer in central Wisconsin. Big or small, Chili Implement has all the best equipment waiting for you. From farm tractors to lawn care, plus work and have fun in a Kubota side-by-side. -side. Choose Chili Implement for your parts and service too. Chili Implement, open Monday through Saturday to serve you and 24-7 online at ChiliImplement.com. Good day. My name is Ken Hyman and welcome to Nasonville Dairy here in central Wisconsin, Marshfield, Wisconsin as a matter of fact. We make a lot of different cheeses. We make cheddar, Colby, Monterey, Farmer's Cheese, Peach Cheese, Quesa Blanca, Quesa de Fira, Seco, Parm, Romano, Asiago, Fontina, Feta Caceri, Cafeteri, Cafla Graviera, 20 different flavors of Monterey as well as making Edam, Gouda and Munster. And the cheese be with you. Hi, I'm Shad from Next Step Prosthetics. Five years ago, we opened our practice to provide life-changing prosthetics that are both comfortable and functional. I would definitely recommend Shy. Shy is very compassionate, caring. We've grown to serve patients throughout Wisconsin. We want to thank them, their families, and providers who have trusted us on the journey. Go to Next Step, because it's gonna change your life. 
Why wait another day? Call to set up a free, no obligation evaluation. Let us take the next step together towards a better life. The Sports Den, located on Marshfield's sunny south side since 1975. The Sports Den has the area's best selection of outdoor equipment, find top brands of snowshoes, cross-country and downhill skis, snowboards, swimming equipment, skateboards, and more. The Sports Den has a full-service bike repair center along with top bike brands, specialized Trek, and others. The Sports Den is Central Wisconsin's fat bike headquarters. Visit the Sports Den in Marshfield Monday through Saturday and thesportsden.net. Welcome back to Assumption High School. And uh, again, one through 16 for Assumption. Columbus Catholic, a number one seed. Cooley Christian, 16. Royal, two. Greenwood, 15. Cochrane Fountain City, three. New Lisbon, 14. If Assumption can get past Elmwood Plum City next week on Tuesday, they would likely head down to Cochrane Fountain City on Friday. Alma Center Lincoln, four. Gilmanton, 13. Port Edwards, the number five seed. Oliva Strum with 12. Assumption 6, Elmwood Plum City 11. Uh, Alma Pepin, a number 7 seed. They will take on Blair Taylor, Pittsville 8, and Loyal 9. In Newman Catholic sectional, Alma Bancroft got a, got a number 1 seed. They get a first round bye. Number 2, 3 Lakes will take on number 15, Bowler. Number 3, Pacelli will welcome in Gresham. Number 4, Tigerton will welcome Tri County. Number five, Wabino Leona will take on number 12, uh, Rosholt. Number six, White Lake will take on these Newman Catholic Cardinals. Marion received a number seven seed. They'll take on Elko. And number eight, Wild Rose will welcome in Northland Lutheran. Games going on right now on the Zaleski Sports Network. A barn burner in Auburndale. It's the Auburndale Eagles 35 and the Stratford Tigers 34. Shy Octon and Pacelli, boys basketball. Uh, that's, a, that's a close one, too. Last look, Shy Octon 60, Pacelli 59. Brilliant and Mosny in the second half. Brilliant, 46, Mosny 42. Marathon running all over Edgar. Or, yeah, Marathon all over Edgar 46 to 26 with 15, 14 minutes to go in that one. Conference championship game unless Auburndale loses tonight. Conference championship game at uh, Marathon on Thursday night. So reminder again that today's halftime report and all of our halftime reports were brought to you in part by Key Savings Bank. Unlike the best home, auto, commercial, and personal loans in the Rapids area, Key Savings Bank, no matter what you're financing, Key Savings Bank has the personal touch with you at ease. Dream big, small rates, Key Savings Bank. Again, the road to the rush starts tomorrow throughout the state of Wisconsin, at least in Division Five. Majority of Division, or a majority of the state starts tomorrow. A lot of teams in divisions other than Division Five start on Friday, just because of the way that uh, the number of schools are equalized out. There's 127. Division five girls basketball teams in the state, only 90 division four, 90 division three, and then even less than that in division two and one. So, but we are back here and it should be a good one. 26, 24 assumption to start the second half. And it's going to be taken away by Weedmeyer. He's got to be careful, too strong in the rebound. And there's going to be a foul on Manny Schultz. Quincy Fender, or Lucas Piffner, had to be careful not to pick up his fourth foul. Did a nice job contesting the shot. And Manny Schultz trying to get the rebound and fouled. Quincy Fender. Pent into the front court. Now an offensive possession here for Newman Catholic. 26-24, assumption on top. Spichala, the runner, left it short. Offense rebound by Aiden. And still on the floor. Taken by JT. Lucas Erdman into, or guarding Schlafer now. Goes baseline to Schlafer. The reverse layup is good. JT for two more. Team high 11 right now. 
Going to be a foul on Chase Lieberg with 17-16 to go here in the first. Couple of team fouls to start here for Assumption on Schultz and Lieberg. Quincy Fender for the Cardinals. Pent on the right side by Kala. Back out to Fender against Weedmeyer. Hands it off to Aiden. Top of the key for Erdman. Right side for Piffner. Goes baseline against Schultz. Good defense there by Manny. Swings it around to Pent. The lefty down low to Spikala. Good find, good finish. Fumbled it for a second, able to regain it and put it in. Parker Vrunwink getting ready to check in for the Royals. Weedmeyer all the way to the basket. It's up and in for Jack. He's got nine here on senior night. Got ten, apologies. Pull-up jumper is good for Fender. Back to a two-point game with 16 to go. Logan nystrom has been quiet here tonight. And threw that one away. Looking for Manny Schultz. Pick up all your bets' favorites from Fleet Farm. Find everything from food and treats to toys and health products under one roof. From all the brands you trust, dogs or cats, they've got you covered. Shop your pets' everyday essentials at Fleet Farm. Near impossible spot to inbound right now for Lucas Piffner in that back corner. Not so much when there's not a lot of pressure, but Newman's got an opportunity to tie or take the lead here in the second half. And they only scored 35 against Assumption back in January. Fender back out to Zupke for three. is Short, rebounded by Schultz. Vrunwink all the way to the basket. Up and in, Parker Vrunwink. And more whistles here. A lot of stoppages. There's officials talking to players and coaches and Fender, Zipke, Pent on the right side. Four-point assumption lead. Spikala swings around. Piffner goes baseline against Manny Schultz. Pull up is good. Lucas Piffner's got 11. Weedmeyer quickly up ahead to Nystrom. Goes baseline. Tiptoes the, uh, tiptoes the baseline. Schlafer on the left side. Vrunwink. Top of the key for Nystrom. Finally getting a look at it off the mark. Tipped up, rebounded by Piffner, or by Piffner. Lucas into the front court, 32-30 assumption. There's a three for Piffner, is off the mark. Good look at it for Lucas. Schlafer tried the fancy pass and out of bounds to Newman Catholic with 14.40 to go. Mutual of Wassa Insurance, protecting homes, farms, and businesses since 1875. Visit mutualofwassa.com. Find agent near you. J.J. Oswald will check in for Manny Schultz with 14.40 to go. And into the game for the first time will be Anthony Hoffer. And he'll check in for Evan Zupke. Pent will receive the inbounds pass. And cross over against Nystrom all the way. Spike Chala on the left side is up and in. Good find there by Griffin Pent. We're tied at 32 with 14.20 to go. Oswald on the left side. Nystrom right wing. Cutting his Schlafer in the lane. Kicks it back out to Nystrom. Against Fender, back uh, Weedmeyer. Down low to Vrunwink. Turns in the lane is good. Parker's got five tonight. Four in this second half. 
34-32 assumption. Pent on the left side, it's Pacala. Asks for a screen. Down low to Spikala on the right block. Up, can't get it to go. And then a foul is going to go on Aiden Spikala with 13.39 to go. Get Culligan water for only $9.95 a month for the first three months. Visit Sterling Culligan. Visit Sterling Culligan water at CulliganH20.com. Spikala just picked up his fourth foul. Liam McCarty checked back in. Two points. Assumption Lee. Schlafer spins in the lane. Left short. Rebounded by Vroonwink. It's good. Parker's got six here in the half. Pent on the left side. Hoffer swings her on to Piffner. Back over to McCarty. Fender on the left side. Goes baseline. The runner is up and good. Quincy Fender gets past the defender. Nystrom, right side. Weedmeyer against Piffner. Schlafer against Pent. Out to Nystrom. Nitrum in the corner to Weedmeyer. Down low to Vroonwink. Out to Oswald on the right side. Back over to Weedmeyer. Vroonwink. Picked up his dribble. Back out to Schlafer. 12 25 to go. Two point lead for Assumption. The runner for JT is short. And uh, foul's going to go on. Uh, foul's going to go on Assumption on the rebound as Fender took a. Took the shot to the face. I was going to go on Parker Vrunwink. That's his third. Parker's played really well here in the last couple of minutes. But again, Newman opportunity here to tie or take the lead. Owen Hagen getting ready to check in for the Royals. Right side. Back over to Pent on the left wing. McCarty goes baseline. Can't finish. Good take there by Liam McCarty. He led to the free throw line. And that's Vrunwink's fourth foul. As weather warms up, look to Rapids. She made a heating and cooling in Wisconsin Rapids. You got more than 100 years of making your home and business comfortable. Call Rapids. She made a heating and cooling today. First one for the junior is no good. McCarty one for two. One point assumption lead here. Newman has matched their point total against Assumption from January 16th. Chase Lieberg hands off to Schlafer in the lane. Owen Hagen in the corner. All the way to lane up and no good. Rebound taken by Hoffer. Newman's got a chance here to take the lead with 11.20 to go. It's a lot of ball game left, to say the least. Fender with it. Back out to Piffner. McCarty, Pent on the left wing. Asking for a screen, gets it momentarily. Off her top of the key. Fender goes baseline against Weedmeyer all the way to the basket, just throws it up there. And Weedmeyer was, didn't, uh, didn't reestablish when, uh, when he got the basketball. Good hustle there by Weedmeyer, just uh, did not. Not re uh, reposition himself. 
Fender with it at the top of the key. Piffner on the left side. McCarty goes baseline, rises above. Good defense there by Lieberg. Up ahead to Hagen. Hagen gets past. Lieberg for three is way short. Rebound taken by Nystrom. Up and in for Logan. And another, another stoppage, another whistle. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Get a free quote from Carrie Van Ert, State Farm on auto, homeowners, life insurance, renters, and more for both Wisconsin Rapids and Marshfield. Find Carrie Van Ert, State Farm on Facebook. Get started today. It's about the fourth or fifth. The stoppage to talk to players here tonight. McCarty turns, in and out, rebound by Schlafer. Ten minutes to go. Nystrom on the left wing. Back out to Schlafer, ten minutes, or 9.55 now. Lieberg on the right side. Gets past McCarty, left hand, he's going to get fouled. And Chase Lieberg will head to the free throw line. And timeout's going to be taken by Assumption. 30-second timeout. We'll be back after this quick break. Zaleski Sports. You're tuned in to Better Halves. Mike, what are you looking for? Skip, I'm not getting older. I'm getting better. I still got big plans for my life and my Medicare. I know exactly what you want from Medicare. Same as all the other guys. Me! <laughs> hey, Mike, I'm Sheila from Security, and I'm just like you. In fact, I'm from your neighborhood, and I've got a Medicare plan that treats you like you. Did it just get better in here? Chase Lieberg heading to the Surf Pro Jamie Wenzel free throw line. Gets you a score update from Auburndale. Stratford 43. Auburndale 40. Two for two for Chase Lieberg. Back to a five point game. Marathon, I think, would clinch as Pent for three is good. Griffin Pent, his second three tonight. Back to a two point game. As Aiden Spachella just fouled out of the game. And 9.20 to go, and Aiden Spicella fouled out of the game here for Newman Catholic. Schlafer, the runner is good. Yeah. 
Big three-pointer for Lucas Piffner. Forty-two, forty-one. We could have an upset on our hands in Auburndale. Again, if all things pan out here, if Auburndale. If Auburndale loses to Stratford, Marathon is conference champions. Marathon still has six and a half minutes to go in their game. Auburndale and Stratford have about a minute and a half. It's a three-point Auburndale lead. Or excuse me, three-point Stratford lead. Pent in the corner against Nystrom. Here, it's a one-point Newman lead. Or excuse me, one-point Assumption lead. And Coach Waldvogel will take a 30-second timeout. And uh, we'll do the same. Might as well. We'll be back after this quick one here on Zaleski Sports. From humble beginnings in 1904, the Wietrich family has grown grassland dairy products into one of the largest processors of butter in the nation. Based in Greenwood, Wisconsin, the family and its hundreds of employees continue their pursuit of providing high-quality products that can proudly be served in restaurants and homes across America. So a lot of time here, eight minutes left in this one. As some spillage in front of the assumption or uh, Newman Catholic bench getting cleaned up here. Eight minutes left. Again, we'll be back with you here tomorrow. The Assumption Royal girls will take on Port Edwards. Seven o'clock start here from Assumption High School. The Royals getting Sarah Shaw back after an ankle injury. Sidelined her for the last seven games or so. Piffner, pull up jumper, Newman's got the lead. Just like that, 43-42. Lieberg out to Schlafer. Nystrom against Fender. Weedmeyer on the right side, hands it off to Lieberg. Back out to Schlafer on the right side against Pent. All the way to the basket. JT gives the Royals the lead. All the way to the basket. The runner for Piffner is no good. Rebounded by McCarty. Back out to Fender. Right side for Pent. McCarty. Weedmeyer is face guarding Fender, back out to Zupke. Piffner at the free throw line, back out. Quick release for Fender is off the mark. Now it's going to go out of bounds to Assumption with 6.50 to go. A lot of close games tonight. A good one down in, uh, or up in Mosinee as well. Pacelli boys lost tonight to Shyocton. Mosinee is up one point on Brilliant, and Chase Lieberg will head to the free throw line. Seven seconds to go in Mosinee. Mosinee leads Brilliant 60 to 59. Foul went on. Uh, Evan Zupke, that'll be his second. Brilliant's got a chance to win it at the end.
Lieber two for two. And wouldn't you know it, Keegan Jershley may have just won the game with a steal. Not surprising that Keegan was in the middle of it. Not sure if this is a real score or not, but <laughs> it might be overtime, not really sure. Well, Amro 98 will pack a 96 with a minute to go. Cutting his fender, pulling up and missing. Rebounded by McCarty, up and good. A lot of contact. Fruinwink, another offensive rebound, can't finish. Another offensive rebound, can't finish. Rebound taken by Fender. Oh my goodness, Lucas Piffner for two more. Bad foul there on Liam McCarty. Defending against Parker Vrunwink. Schlaford inbound. Down low, Vrunwink, good pass. Good con uh, contestion there by Zubke. Top of the key for Zubke, lost it for a second. Back out to Pent. Pent steps into a three, is good! Griffin Pent buries the three, his third three of the game, and just like that, it's a four-point Newman lead. Weedmeyer, three-pointer for Lieberg. Chase too strong, rebounded by Weedmeyer. In the lane, hands it off to Lieber. The runner is good. A strong take there for Chase. And back and forth we go. Pull up for Piffner. Wow, <laughs> we're having a fun here. It's a score from Wapaka. Amro Fox is 100. Wapaka Comets 98 with 40 seconds to go. Nystrom pulls up. Left short. Rebounded there by Zubke. Right side for Pent. McCarty. Piffner, the runner, is short. Rebounded by Weedmeyer. Jack into the front court. Spins through defenders. Down low to Vrunwink. Down low to Nystrom and lost it. And uh, Quincy Fender cannot believe it. Quincy just picked up his third foul. Mosney hangs on to be brilliant. And it's going to be a full timeout. 52-48 here from Assumption. We'll take a break. Come back, Zaleski Sports. After a couple years of a job that doesn't fit, it's time for more money, more opportunity. That is where Mid-State Technical College comes in. Would cooking be a good fit? Try on a career in welding. Perhaps the outdoors suits you better. Or maybe helping people is a better fit. No matter your path, we've got cutting edge classes with field trained professionals and better tuition options, making Mid-State the perfect fit. It's simple, but true. Time is money. At Sherl Tire and Service, we have over 20 mobile service trucks to get you rolling and growing again. Sherl Tire and Service Centers, your locally owned farm tire dealer.
Welcome back to Assumption High School. We'll give you some other sports news. After all the craziness with the weather down in South Florida, the Daytona 500 finally wrapped up today or tonight. William Byron, the 2024 Daytona 500 winner. 66th annual this year. Always one of the venues that I think would be fun to go to. The Daytona International Speedway. Head over to the Daytona 500 for a, for a weekend. Piffner hands it off to Pent. Two point, Newman Catholic lead, three minutes to go here. Down low, McCarty goes baseline, steps through, he's gonna get called for the travel. Saw that one, for sure. Score from Wopaka, 102-100, Amro and Wopaka. Stratford and Auburndale. Stratford leads Auburndale by three with nine seconds to go. Down low, Weedmeyer. Royals have a chance to tie or take the lead. Three-pointer for Nystrom is left short. Tipped up, out of bounds to, or off of Runewink to uh, Newman Catholic with 2.31 remaining. Reminder, tonight's broadcast brought to you in part by Wood Street, Wood Street Rentals. For any size job and you need equipment, look to Wood Street Rentals, offering a great variety of rental equipment to help you get the job done with delivery service to any job site. That's Wood Street Rentals. Quincy Fender with it at midcourt with 2.20 to go here in this one. 52-50 in favor of Newman. Take on the Stratford Tigers on Thursday, does Assumption. Newman takes on Edgar. And Mike Wenlich just messaged me. Wopaka and Amaro heading to overtime. At tied at 103. Wow. Newman just trying to run the clock here. Fender the runner is no good. Rebounded by Schlafer. 145 to go. Against Zubke. Blows past him all the way. They want to jump ball, they want to travel. Assumption wants a foul. And the officials coming together. It's gonna to be a traveling call on Schlafer. Yeah, the officials coming together, talking about it. It's gonna be a timeout. Give me a timeout by Assumption. We'll take another quick one. Come back after this. Zaleski Sports. Culligan Water delivers from your first call to your first sip to your first soak. Culligan, give us a tap. The only water that comes with a van. Customize your next apparel order with Meta Custom Apparel of Stevens Point. Visit us today for custom baseball and softball apparel. Need help with a design? We have you covered. Our highly skilled staff will turn your idea into a reality with great quality screen printing. Or choose from a variety of embroidery options today. Visit us at our physical store or online at metacustom.com. Reminder that tonight's broadcast is brought to you in part by SC Swiderski and SCS Apartment. Our home is where you want to live, work, and play all throughout central Wisconsin, the Chippewa Valley, and the Fox Valley. No matter where you live, look to SC Swiderski to make you feel right at home. Visit scswiderski.com for more. So congratulations to the Marathon Red Raiders winning the Merrillwood South this year. A loss to Auburndale clinches the conference for Marathon. Those two teams will wrap up the season on Thursday in Marathon. Fender with it, down low to McCarty. McCarty slams it home! Liam McCarty! With authority for the big fella. Again, we saw him do that in Amherst in December. Schlafer steps into a three. 
Off the mark, rebounded by Nystrom. One minute to go, four point, Wassa Newman lead. The runner for Wiedemeyer is good. And timeout's gonna be taken up by Assumption. We'll keep it here with 59 seconds to go. Two point Newman lead. Spectrum Benefit Solutions has offices located throughout central Wisconsin. Spectrum Benefit Solutions, your group benefits provider for health, dental, accident, and life insurance. Spectrum Benefit Solutions works with businesses of any size to help you attract and retain the best employees. Find Spectrum Benefit Solutions on Facebook. Get started today. As well as Metallico of Wisconsin Rapids, they're a leading producer of high quality aluminum products. Proud supporter of Wisconsin Rapids Community Athletics. Metallico has a number of openings to grow your career locally. Find your next career path at Metallico in Wisconsin Rapids. 52-54, Newman Catholic on top. Again, they struggled big time in the first half with foul trouble. They have been much better here in the second half, but nonetheless, it has been a whale of a game here to start the final regular season week of the year for boys basketball. Fifty nine point one seconds remaining. Newman Catholic trying to spoil senior night for Assumption. New or Assumption still has a, a handful of, or a couple of fouls to give. Pent picks up his dribble, hands it off to Piffner. Down low to Zubke, kicks it out to Pent. Coach Paul's yelling, he got a foul. Still got a couple of remaining here. That's just the fifth. So one more to give. Stop Construction is a premier builder of municipal and industrial water and wastewater treatment systems in the Midwest. Stop Construction, a 100% employee owned company. Piffner trying to inbound. Pent is going to get fouled by Hagen, and that's the final foul. Final foul on, uh, on Assumption before. Final foul on Assumption before bonus the rest of the way. Bonus for both sides. 35, 34 and a half seconds left. And uh, Griffin Pent will head to the free throw line for one and one here. 33 seconds to go. Solaris customers have enjoyed the same low price for five years running. No tricks, no gimmicks, no kidding. Packages starting at $49.99 a month. Visit Solaris.net today and learn more. 33.6 seconds remaining. Griffin Pent. Three three-pointers tonight. Free throw is good for the sophomore. Again, a young team on both sides, but Newman has come into Rapids and played well. Not played, it's been a, a tough game. Free throw off the mark. Up ahead, Nystrom in transition. Goes baseline against Fender. Picks up his dribble out to Weedmeyer. 20 seconds to go. Goes baseline, does Weedmeyer up. Got it in one! Jack Weedmeyer, the hoop and the harm for the senior. With 22 and a half seconds to go. Weedmeyer's got a chance to tie the game here. J.J. Oswald back into the game for Logan Nystrom. Coach Bolt switching his lane line. Attendants, attendees. Weedmeyer at the line. Brand one. It's no good. Rebounded by McCarty. Hands off to Fender. Fender gets fouled in the backcourt. And Quincy Fender will head to the free throw line for the first time tonight. Made a custom apparel in Stevens Point. Provides quality decorated apparel from hometown schools and summer teams to corporate and team outings. 
along with promotional items and sporting goods. That's made a custom apparel. Business Park, Stevens Point. Seventeen and a half seconds to go. First one is good. Quality Plus Printing in Wisconsin Rapids can help your business with all your printing service needs, banners, labels, postcards, programs, and so much more, all with quality custom work, quick turnaround times, and great customer service. Visit qpprinting.com, Quality Plus Printing, getting your words out. Full time out, we'll take a quick one here in Wisconsin Rapids. New Catholic three-point lead, 18 seconds remaining on Zaleski Sports. everybody, Nat over at Wheeler Chevrolet GMC and going on now through the end of the month, 2.9% for 72 months on all Silverado half ton, both 23 and 24 model. 2.9 for 72 months, you heard it. Stop on in and talk to a sales consultant today. Eighteen seconds to go in this one. He's had some incredible finishes. Incredible finishes tonight on the network already. This one looks to be the same. Three points. Assumption trails. Deficit here with 15 seconds. Newman has no timeouts left. Assumption's got one. And, uh, yeah, going to get called for the travel on J.T. Schlafer. Not a lot of argument out of Coach Paltz on that one. 10 seconds to go, 10 and a half seconds to go. And through the hands of Pent, it's loose in front of the Assumption student section. Whistle is blown. Again, it's, we can't see it down in front of the, in front of the student section here. Was somebody on the sidelines? Was it a jump ball? If it's a jump ball, it's Assumption basketball. And they're going to say that Newman Catholic was out of bounds. No argument there from Coach Waldvogel. Coach nice, or, uh, Logan Nystrom will check in. Assumption will have one or has one timeout remaining. And it's going to be a timeout for Assumption. It's going to be a full timeout. We'll take another break. We'll be back after this on Zaleski Sports. Business owners share so many challenges, but there's one challenge that has an easy solution. Branding your business with creative graphics and a plethora of effective print marketing options is as easy as quality plus printing. With over 30 years of marketing expertise and a track record of happy customers, you can trust in quality plus printing to develop the perfect brand for you. As a business owner, you have enough to focus on. Give yourself a break and trust in Quality Plus Printing on 8th Street, Wisconsin Rapids. Or find us at qpprinting.com. That's qpprinting.com. What sets Nakusa support Edward State Bank apart from other Wisconsin banks far beyond rates and financial services? You can expect an experience filled with individualized personal care unique to you and your business. Nakusa support Edward State Bank has over 100 years of serving the Wisconsin Rapids area, local small and mid-sized businesses, while proudly supporting so many community projects over the years. They're your neighbors, your friends, and you'll find them actively serving communities where we work, live, and play. Nakusa support Edward State Bank, strong enough to protect you, large enough to serve you and small enough to know you. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Seven seconds to go. No timeouts either way. Three-point Newman Catholic lead, 
Inbounds it to Manny Schultz. Back out to Schlafer. Corner three, didn't take it. Now he pulls up three, it's good! It's a three-pointer for JT, and we are heading to overtime. JT Schlafer knocks down the three, and the Royals tie it with less than a second. And Assumption ties it at 57. JT Schlafer's first three-pointer of the game. Inbounds place, inbounds play to Manny Schultz. Schultz handed, handed it back off to Schlafer. JT didn't take the first look he had and then took a dribble to his left to get it into the corner and uh, just threw up the three-pointer and he, and he tied it up. We reset things, four-minute overtime. Wow. Second overtime game of the night on Zaleski Sports. Schlafer buries the three. Wow. The tip one there, Fender. Back out, Piffner, three-pointer, it's good! Lucas Piffner for three. And just like that, Newman's got a three-point lead. Lieberg on the left side, dribbles through, back out to Schlafer. Goes baseline against Zupke. Down low, Weedmeyer and one again! Jack Weedmeyer. Liam McCarty picks up his fifth foul, so Liam is out. Second Newman Catholic player to foul out here. Liam had a nice game here tonight. Weedmeyer has struggled from the line here tonight. It's good. Forty seconds into overtime, tied back up at sixty. Fender against Weedmeyer, back out to Zubke, right side for Piffner. Piffner swings it back around. Pent on the left side, picks up his dribble. In one, or, uh, one full time out each side. That's what you are reset with during overtime. Piffner with it on the left wing. Dribbles to the top of the key against Logan Nystrom. Pent to the top, swings it around. That's Piffner, steps into a three, it is up, it is short. Hand down, man down. And uh, Piffner almost made Logan Nystrom pay for it. Schlafer in the lane, the runner for JT is too strong. Rebound taken by Quincy Fender. 2.20 to go, tied at 60. Piffner on the left wing against Schlafer. Clock runs all the way to the basket. Steps through, blocked by Lieberg. It's going to be a jump ball to Assumption. That's good defense there by Chase Lieberg with 2.08 to go. Right under our next step, Prod 6 post game show. We'll follow this craziness here in Wisconsin Rapids tonight. Weedmeyer. And Coach Paul says just got to move the ball around here. 150 to go. Weedmeyer on the left block. Pass it back out 
to Schlafer, spins, goes baseline up, and uh, wow, late foul call. Late foul call against Evan Zubke, and JT will head to the free throw line. Quincy Fender can't believe it in the backcourt for Newman Catholic. Screaming exuberantly. First one for JT, silky smooth. Schlafer two for two. Two points, assumption lead with under 90 seconds to go. Fender on the left side. Piffner swings it back around to Fender. Two point lead for Assumption with 105 to go. Piffner skips around to Pent, goes baseline against Nystrom, down low, and it is lost. It's loose, picked up by Vrunwink. Zupke couldn't handle the pass. Under a minute to go, 50 seconds to go. It's going to be a foul on Zubke and uh, Schlafer heading back to the free throw line. Schlafer going to try and just about ice this one. Still a lot of time left, 50 and a half seconds. Schlafer's first one rolls around and gets it to go. Schlafer, two for two. Four point lead, 45 seconds to go. Tipped away by Nystrom. Fender in the backcourt for Newman Catholic. Four-point lead for the Royals here in overtime. We are in overtime here in Wisconsin Rapids. Fender gets a screen. Top of the key, steps into a three. It's up and it hits the wire. It's going to be out of bounds to Assumption with 30 seconds to go. Fender looking for the foul after the shot. Weedmeyer up ahead to Schlafer. Schlafer all the way to the basket, going to get fouled hard, and Schlafer hits the floor hard. Gets up holding that right ankle that he's got a brace on, and Schlafer will head back to the free throw line. Coach Paul says go back to half court, 20 seconds to go. Well, that time went on Lucas Erdman, and Schlafer gets another one to go. Schlafer. Has been perfect here from the line of this in overtime. Back out, Fender. Steps back, couldn't get a shot off. Pent, top of the key for three. It is short. And rebound taken by Parker Brunwink. And that'll do it here tonight. The Assumption Royals come away with a 66 to 60 win in overtime. Wow, what a game. What a job by Newman Catholic.
as well. It was a whale of a game both sides as Assumption wins at 66 to 60 here tonight. Coming up next after these messages is our Next Step Prosthetics post-game show. Next Step Prosthetics providing prosthetics and orthotics throughout central Wisconsin. Take your next step and contact them today. Hi, I'm Shai from Next Step Prosthetics. Five years ago, we opened our practice to provide life-changing prosthetics that are both comfortable and functional. I would definitely recommend Shai. Shai is very compassionate and caring. We've grown to serve patients throughout Wisconsin. We want to thank them, their families, and providers who have trusted us on the journey. Go to Next Step, because it's going to take you Why wait another day? Call to set up a free, no obligation evaluation. Let us take the next step together towards a better life. Good day, my name is Ken Hyman, and welcome to Nasonville Dairy here in central Wisconsin, Marshfield, Wisconsin, as a matter of fact. We make a lot of different cheeses. We make cheddar, Colby, Monterey, Farmer's Cheese, Peach Cheese, Cuesa Blanca, Cuesa de Fira, Seco, Parm, Romano, Asiago, Fontina, Fedecaceri, Cafletiri, Cafla Graviera, 20 different flavors of Monterey, as well as making Edom, Gouda, and Munster. And the cheese be with you. What sets Nakusa Port Edward State Bank apart from other Wisconsin banks far beyond rates and financial services? You can expect an experience filled with individualized personal care unique to you and your business. Nakusa Port Edward State Bank has over 100 years of serving the Wisconsin Rapids area, local, small, and mid-sized businesses, while proudly supporting so many community projects over the years. They're your neighbors, your friends, and you'll find them actively serving communities where we work, live, and play. Nakusa Port Edward State Bank, strong enough to protect you, large enough to serve you and small enough to know you. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender.
All right, Josh, we good? Do oh, Josh and Josh, you ready? All yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Welcome back to Assumption High School. It's the Royals pick up a overtime win here tonight over the New Catholic Cardinals here at the Assumption Head Coach Josh Baltz. Coach, it's uh, never not an uh, exciting one <laughs> for you guys and uh, no different here tonight. Big time win. Yeah, how sweet is that? Especially on senior night, uh, I couldn't be more proud. Uh, last, last thing I wrote on the board uh, was SAA. You know, this time of year it stands for Survive in Advance. You know, so we're in playoff mode now. You know, we're not waiting a week. Um, yeah, I couldn't be more proud of the seniors, uh, Owen Hag and the junior, all those sophomores, Parker Brewing, you know, just throwing them in the wolf like that. He played awesome. Uh, JJ came in and played well as a freshman. I'm just top bottom, extremely proud of the kids. At the end, uh, guys, obviously JT able to hit free throws in overtime, but before we got to overtime, uh, took a timeout with seven seconds to go. Just talk a little bit about what was drawn up there. Yeah, just how we drew it up. <laughs> Not at all. Uh -huh. You know, we were actually trying to get uh, JT to go through um, and, and try to get uh, Logan Nystrom to curl off the screen to hit the, hit the tying three, and um, they took that away, and JT just made a heady play. Manny Schultz made the right pass, and JT just knocked it in ice in his veins. That was pretty sweet. You talk about surviving advanced playoff time. Phenomenal atmosphere here tonight. Great student section, good uh, fans on, on hand. Just talk about being able to have that support here at the end of the year. Yeah, I, 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 we're so thankful. You know, we do have an awesome school fan base. You know, I, I'm extremely thankful. It's the best time of the year, you know, and uh, we're looking forward to the next and uh, hopefully we can play for a few more weeks. All right, thanks, Coach. Yeah, thank See you on you. Thursday. Yeah, thank you. Good. Bringing our selection sports players to the game, our two seniors. Manny Schultz and Jack Weedmeyer. Well, let's first talk to Manny here. Oh, G game game tying assist at the end of yeah. uh, <laughs> game tying assist at the end of regulation. Just talk a little bit about uh, what you saw and what was drawn up to get that uh, <laughs> get that game tied up. Well, to be honest, it was kind of on the fly there. Uh, I mean, I was supposed to give the ball to Logan coming off a double, and I thought JT called for it, so he stepped in bounds. I just kind of handed it to him. I'm like, shoot it, shoot it. He shot it and it went in, so it was good. It was good. A lot of excitement. Yeah, absolutely. No more exciting play than that to oh, tie it right yeah. at right at the buzzer. Just talk a little bit about. Uh, I, I just talked to Coach Pulse about it, having the atmosphere here uh, at the end of the regular season and uh, a good student section that you guys had. Just talk about the the support that you guys have had here at the end of the year. Oh yeah, the atmosphere is great. I mean, if this is a game that we needed to win. It's a game that's going to help us. You know, going into the playoffs, a little bit of confidence. Uh, I mean, JT and Jack played great. And, you know, players got to step up and play, so it was fun. I mean, the, uh, the atmosphere is great. A lot of students here, everyone was cheering. It was fun. It was really fun. It was great. It was awesome. All right, don't go too far, Manny. We'll bring in, uh, we'll bring in Jack here. Don't go too far. Bring in our uh, other senior here, Jack Weedmeyer. Jack, uh, obviously a big-time win, overtime win. Uh, just talk a little bit about getting, uh, getting the job done here tonight. Yeah, we've been struggling, like, defensively a lot, just giving up layups, just stuff we can't, can't really key in on right now. Um, but yeah, Manny running the wrong play at the end of the game. That was pretty awesome. And then finally made some free throws in overtime after struggling the whole game. I think that was just huge for us down the line. Yeah, talking to Coach the last couple of years, not just the last couple of weeks, you, the Energizer Bunny, I think it would be a good way to describe you. Had a couple of big time and ones down the stretch. Just talk about, uh, just talk a little bit about your role and your energy that you bring to this club. Yeah, so obviously we have JT and Logan. They're just scorers. I mean, that's just what they do. So I got to bring something to the table. Um, so I've just been really focused on defensively, um, just trying to give it everything I got, uh, trying to get those guys open looks. And that's just been the biggest thing for me, really. All right, we'll put you both in the house, right? Manny, come on. Oh, sweet. We'll just do Manny Schultz, Jack Weedmeyer. We're in the house, all right? All right. I'll give you this, I'll back out of here. So I'm not your way. Right, I'm Jack Weedmeyer. I'm Manny Schultz. And we're, we're in the, the house. house. Thank you. With that, we're going to sign things off here from Assumption High School 66 60. Assumption gets the overtime win here tonight against Newman Catholic. It's a heck of a way. It's a heck of a way to start our week here at Assumption High School. We'll be back with you tomorrow. The Assumption girls start their road to the state tournament uh, against Port Edwards. 7 o'clock tip off here from Assumption High School. For Josh Bush, this is C. Maves. Have a great rest of your night. Talk to you again tomorrow right here on Zaleski Sports.